Hi guys, it's Adam and today I have a rather large car boot charity shop um, eBay snipe haul for you. Um, I'm just going to rattle through it, I don't really care how long this takes. Um, I, I know loads of people have always said to me, just make your videos as long as you want. You know, people pause them and then come back to them anyway, so I'm just going to make this as long as it takes really. Um, I'm not going to rush it, I'm not going to, you know, quickly get on to the next thing and, and just try and get it done or anything like that. I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on each of the items, on some of the items. Um, and yeah, I picked up some okay stuff this weekend. Um, I had a good eBay snipe um, the other week um, and that led on to another... Um, another purchase because the guy messaged me and said are you looking for anything in particular and stuff and and that led on to obviously having another purchase from him um fairly okay haul from a car boot today nothing spectacular um but i've you know i've tried to get what i could really um yeah so without further ado i will sure get on with it there might be a bit of rustling with the I don't know if you can see my mic, but there might be a bit of rustling because I've got my mic on and I'm, I'll am i be sort of, you know, um, getting off the chair and stuff. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'll be getting off the chair and stuff and obviously it'll create a, create a bit of rustling, but it shouldn't be too bad. And if you're wondering why I'm not in the other room with my tripod and everything, it's because of this. I use this um, camera. The, the, the tripod in the other room is specifically for a camera. Um, and you need this adapter so that then it, you can clip your phone onto the stand and I was a bit aggressive when I was taking it off and it uh, completely broke and I tried to put some all-purpose glue or whatever you call it on it um, but yeah it wasn't really having any of it so I picked up another couple of these they're arriving next week so we'll be back in that room as of probably Wednesday um, because I've ordered two of these because they're dirt cheap, they're like 90 pence each off Amazon. Um, free delivery that is as well, so God knows how they make money on that. But anyway, um, I've, ordered, I've ordered another two, so if one breaks, I've got a backup. And I like to have a backup with a lot of things. But anyway, without further ado, I shall get on with it. I'll just go over here and put a couple of these charity shop purchases over here so that then we can view there we go right that shouldn't have been too bad um so these are now all in the way um these are charity shop purchases nothing great um pretty much all glassware this was from yesterday i had a shocking day at the charity shops i mean i say it was shocking i mean i got a couple of nice bits but you know it, it, for volume but i couldn't get any any amount of volume so it was just random bits and bobs this was two quid i think it's already sold i put it on the other day uh, this wasn't uh, i didn't pick this up yesterday i picked this up on tuesday along with a couple of other bits that were already listed but this one's sold so i decided just to show it you just before i package it up um paid two quid for that and i don't know how much it sold for now i'm thinking like around the tenner there wasn't much profit in it it was just a bit of a failed purchase but i mean still there's about four quid in that so you know i was happy just to take the four quid i was thinking i could bundle it bundle it up with another one but when I thought, it's going to take me ages to find another one. I've never seen one before. That's my first time in 9 or 10 months. No, 11 months now of retailing. And I've only found that one. This was quite cool. You don't I, don't, I don't see these personally very often. I don't know about other people. But I think this is enamel. Red enamel. And then it's embossed as well because it's raised from the surface here. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool. 125. Gonna bundle that with another one of the coat glasses, and I might be able to get a bit more for the bundle because of it, this being a bit different. And then this was a really nice item. Big, heavy, one litre beer stein. 
I pick these up if they have a logo on or anything like this. Um, I've I've stopped picking them up without a logo because the ones I've got listed without a logo simply aren't selling. Um, now I'll pay up for these. I'll pay anywhere up to sort of four quid for these. Paid three fifty for this one, and that's because a lot of them you can get twenty thirty quid for them. This one, I'm sort of looking about eighteen quid, and I have got this listed. I think I, I think I've got it listed for eighteen nineteen quid, but there's still some good money in that. So there's definitely good money in these beer steins, but I would only pick them up if you have these logos on. Uh, and just type that logo into eBay and you'll get something up. So yeah, that is literally all the chart shop purchases from yesterday. Shocking day, I know. Terrible. Um, next, we'll get on to Carboot. Um, so I've got most things in front of me here, so there shouldn't be too much moving about from now on. Um, but yeah, so first one, Top Trumps, 50p. And this I've never seen before, and it's a collected, collector's edition, um, 45 years of time travel, Doctor Who. I imagine that was 2008. I don't know. Um, but the reason I got it as well, I was going to pick it up anyway, but it was actually sealed, which was a bonus. So I saw the seal and thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick that up. Um, don't know what I could get for its collector's edition, sealed. I'm, I'm thinking... 8 to 10 from that. Top trumps that are sealed, if the uh, like collector's edition and things, and like Star Wars and things like that, they can get easy 8 to 10. So, because it's Doctor Who, I might be able to get that. If not, it might be 6, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely put it on higher than my other top trumps. Um, but yeah, so that was alright. Took a punt on this for 2 quid, lost, new and sealed. I don't know, I haven't a clue, but for two quid, I thought there'll be some money in it, if nothing, you know, if not a lot. But um, what I could do if there's no money on it, Amazon, um, I could just, I see these all the time, but usually used. Um, and I'll just pick up a used copy of, you know, maybe season one and two, or maybe season two and just bundle them on eBay or something. So that was quid. I'm doing all the sealed media, by the way, just for the moment. Or the media, anyway. Um, Ancient Warriors Discovery Channel box set. These Discovery Channel, I've not really had much luck with them. But for a quid, I thought, I'm not leaving it behind. There's, there's got to be some money on it. Um, but yeah, new and sealed, I don't know. There might only be a few quid in it, FBA. But for, for a quid, I was taking a chance. What's jig? This might go for Christmas. I don't know, or it might. I might just chuck it in a FBA box now. Um, what's jig? Extension puzzle. I haven't a clue, but I picked that up for a quid. Well, actually, I got it in a bundle with these next stuff. Um, now I know these don't go for much on FBA. Or I don't think we do, but I couldn't leave them. Return of the King sealed. Uh, two towers not sealed. And then the Fellowship of the Ring sort of sealed um, there. And I paid like four quid for these. So it was like £1.20 each. Um, and I might be able to do them in a bundle on eBay. They might have some value on FBA, but obviously I'm going to have to sell that as, I don't know, maybe even very good. I might not even do like new on that because it's got really bad whips on the seal. But I don't know. Um, but for four quid for the free, I was happy with that. So there are those. Right, that's the sealed. Yeah, that's all the sealed media done. Got this because it's a quite a heavy item, quite a nice item. Um, poo. Don't know whether it's. A, yeah, copyright Disney there. Um, so it must be a licensed one or something. I don't know. Um, poo, one pound. Can't really go wrong on that. I can bundle it up with a teddy or something. I don't know how much I'm going to get, but bundle that up with a tenor, uh, teddy. And obviously you won't be able to feel it, but it's not plastic or anything. It's it's heavy item. It must be so that... Oh no, what was that? Oh, one of the wings off the bees have come off. Yeah, anyway. Um, nice item. 
it is heavy it's ceramic so you know there's some money in that if if i bundle it with something um next i suppose books and then we'll do everyone's favorite board games um so i got this mallory mallory i can never pronounce this mallory towers that's it complete collection you need black and i don't think these go for much but the one i was more interested in was this one now this last book is coming out of it because for some reason it won't fit in but it's meant to fit in so anyway i don't know but it's a horrible science box set you can usually sell like eight of the i bundle these like in eight and eight or tens just for books and you probably get about a tenner for the eight or the ten um and that's including postage so you get eight quid plus postage or something um you don't go for a huge amount you need to do bigger bundles of these horrible signs but in a book set like this you might get a bit more i don't know what the go going rate is but i mean you're looking 10 or 12 for that i imagine Whoop. oh sorry these were more charity shop purchases i just remembered john smith um tad caster just the you know standard pint glasses uh, i've had some success with pint glasses so i've been getting them a bit more uh, so yeah that was that book set these were these two got the two for three quid so i mean 150 each again i don't think you can go far wrong on that um if that's not worth much that's gonna pay for the three quid anyway um so yeah happy with those more books oh god this is gonna be hard to get up loads of disney wonderful world of reading i think there's like 22 she said with this mickey mouse plastic stand um there now i paid up for this I paid four quid and there's 22 bucks oh no actually i didn't pay up for it did i because i go off i go off 20 20 p a book so 22 bucks would be four pound 40 and i paid four pounds so no i didn't pay up i thought i did for some reason i was thinking i paid up but yeah with the stand as well i don't know what i could get for that but the book um 22 of them books you're looking like I don't know, 10 to 15 you can't you i don't think you can get one one pound a book i think you can get a roughly about 70p a book back so i usually pick them up for 20 to 30p a book so then there's good profit in it but with this stand as well i think that'll make it stand out a bit hey, that, that's funny isn't it? the stand will make it stand out but yeah it will um, my listing will stand out a little bit because of the stand so that was that four quid for that and there's one book in there that isn't disney wonderful world of reading but that's fine it's still another disney one um board games and then i'll go on to miscellaneous stuff uh, oh actually no there's one more set of books and just um to give you a clue they're scottish titles so that'll give you a clue Oh. this is why i don't like doing hauls in this oh no is it tilted off there we go. this is why i don't like doing hauls in this room because it get just tons of stuff next to me um anyway so scottish titles now david if you're watching david mcgregor um i pick these up for a quid each have i done good or have i done bad i don't know he wouldn't come down from a quid each uh, he wanted 10 pound and there's 10 bucks i said i'd be happy i'd be happier at seven and he, he didn't he didn't want it and then i said nine and he said no ten so then i walked away and then i came back and i said you know what i'll, I'll have them for, for a quid each so they're not in amazing condition but we're not in terrible condition if you know what i mean pages are all right but the covers are a bit not too bad to be up for the age i don't think they're too bad um i don't know whether there's like any pay uh, like a number oh we've got some writing in there i've not really checked these i didn't check them that well at the car boot maybe i should have but these are the bruins by the way just so you know i've been talking about them for five minutes and i've not even told you what they are yeah these are I think it was i don't know i don't know where you get these from but in a paper of some sort um 
like years ago, 70s, 80s in a newspaper, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've got 10 of them for a tenner and I'll show you the other ones. And what I'll do is I'll just hold them up to a camera because if anyone knows anything about these and if I've got any rare ones, then you could let me know. That would really help before I do my research. So there's that one. I think these are a fairly old. Oh, that one looks pretty old. That one, yeah. So there's that one. Some of these do look like new and then some of them look older. This one's got a barcode on, so it must have been uh, post 1974. So it's definitely not early 70s. So it must be, yeah, this has got a barcode on. So this, these might be more 80s. But I think even the 80s ones do okay. The balloons and again another barcode on. I think there was one before in that pile that didn't have a barcode on. And then I'll just quick. This one's not in great condition. But yeah, that's those. Again, I think I think I've got two of this one. I don't know. Oh, and then two of this one as well. I think this. Oh, oh this, yeah, that is the same, isn't it? And this one doesn't have a barcode, so this might be before, I assume this is before 74, so they could be quite good. But yeah, I don't know on them, I picked them up because I've watched David's, David's video, and if, I can't remember whether he said pick them up for even a quid, at, like, you know, a quid each, but I went on them anyway, because um, I just didn't want to leave them behind and realise that I should have picked them up for a quid each. Um, but anyway, that's those. And I think we're left with, yeah, board games and then one more miscellaneous item. Uh, oh no, sorry, these as well. Uh, Magnus, pint glasses. I've, I've saw these uh, once or twice before and you don't get much for them. Paired up, you'll get about seven, eight quid for the pair. That's including postage. Um, but I got eight of these for six quid. So it's not a, an amazing price, but just... This is the bag with the other eight in. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is the eight for like 25, something like that, and see if I get that for the eight. Because I'm assuming someone will buy eight of them as a job lot for a, a party or something, I don't know. Um, but maybe eight for 25 might work. Um, and then it just gets them out all in one go for me. And I don't know whether it's exactly a bigger profit, but it, it's easier for me. Um, it's it's one postage cost and stuff. So anyway, that was those, and we've got one other thing, and then we've got the board. So I'll do board games now, and then we'll do the weird one at the end that I really am out of my comfort zone in. But who cares? <laughs> I, I'll I'll just jump into any niche now. I just don't care really. I just I just do it and if it's a fail it's a fail atmosphere the, the gatekeeper of, is this I've never had this before and it was it was sat on a stall for a quid and I think Ben sells these for like 15 16 quid so yeah I was I was gonna take a chance on that it's in okay condition um, the guy there assured me it was complete you know as they always do but I've had many a time people say things are complete and they're not complete. So, yeah, I don't really trust people as much anymore. Now I've been a reseller for almost a year. I just seem to not trust each, uh, trust people anymore. It has a two quid sign on there, but it was a quid. New downfall. If it is complete and it's in good condition, because the box is in fairly good condition, I may think about sending this into FBA because I know Nick's had some good good luck with that at the moment. Um, if not, I might keep it for Christmas because I know this will go well at Christmas. We have the mini logo game. I might sell that now because that sort of comes under tra travel games and it might be one for summer. So I might sell that now. I'll have to double check it though. The logo game, £1.50. Um, again, you can get sort of 12 to 15 for these. I think 
more on the lower end of that scale at this time of year but i know at christmas you'll get an easy 15 if not higher um so yeah that one pound 50 for that i don't know about sending that into fba i don't know but anyway um had this the other week challenge um 15 pound game all day long really um you can probably get slightly higher if it's sealed or sealed contents or whatever but like this probably about 13 to 15 pound uh paid a pound no two pound on that and then another logo game for two pound um so again as you can probably see with my board games i've been a lot more selective and i've got things that i know of a higher end board games and not like all the low end board games um there was so many low end board games i could have got but i'm not doing that anymore i've got far too many of them i just want to clear them um and then i i've been debating whether to get some of the lower um, value board games and just keep them till christmas because i know i can put the price up a bit at christmas but it's just space i mean there's, there's not much point in using up three or four big boxes um to house things that i might get two quid more for at christmas so yeah um i've just stopped picking all them up really um right so that's board games oh sorry i've got ebay snipes to do next no i'll do this oh no everything's falling right i've got um this one thing and then i've got ebay a few ebay snipes to show you i don't think i'll get all of this out but what it actually is is a walk i will actually get it out because i may as well um where does it say the brand name there james martin um again they assured me it was working but you know who knows really completely out of my comfort zone <sighs> having a clue with it um but for three quid i, I mean i was going to take a chance on that um i just went on it because it's a james martin collection you know he's a well-known chef probably a fairly good quality product so i thought i could probably get 20 quid for it at least if not more but i don't know i'm just completely guessing um right i'm gonna put that back in there is a um actually i'll show you this bit oh no there's no way i'm getting that out with one hand um it there, there's just like a oh what do you call it like a a lid why can't i say that a lid there's a lid there's a clear lid I can't believe I forgot the word for lid. It's such a simple word. Right, so that's that. I'll just put this back. So, as you can probably tell, there's just things all around me. And it's just crazy. So, I'll get on with a few of the PS3 games from an eBay snipe net. Hi guys, it's Adam. Um, I'm going to get back on with the eBay snipes now. Um, I had to go downstairs in the middle of the recording for, well, not the middle of the recording, but near the end of the recording for lunch. So I'm just going to chop that out um, and then you'll see this bit straight after. It'll cut out. Anyway, you'll have seen it by now, so you'll know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the eBay snipes. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about that interruption because it means I'm going to have to do more editing, but oh well. Um, I, I quite enjoy the editing process anyway. Um, so yeah, we will do uh, the eBay snipes now. This was in a big job lot I got. I would have paid, I honestly don't know, but it probably works out at about 50p to, to a pound a game. I don't know. If I work it out in the big job lot, it probably works out around that. I'm not going to show you the whole job lot because half of it's listed half of it's bundled up some of it's here some of it's there it's just all over the place really so i'll just show you some of the games about out of it so cod uh modern warfare 4 uh, no 
COD 4 Modern Warfare, should I say. Call of Duty Black Ops. See, they're, no, they're nothing great, but they were just in the job box, I thought I'd show you. Um, the other games are just FIFA and stuff, so uh, I'm not going to show you those ones, but I will show you these. So, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, so I think... I think that's going to be a bundle, or I might do a bigger bundle, I'm not sure. Uh, Black Ops, and then Modern Warfare 2 again. Um, two copies of World at War. These, the COD games go okay in bundles, but you don't get much for them, to be honest. Um, when I was researching, like people had bundles of five or six on there, and they sort of get like 14 quid and that's including like one of the recent ones as well none of these are the, like one of the most recent so yeah so there's not that much money in them but if you can pick these up for like I don't know 50p I suppose with your max then you could do bundles with them uh, GTA 5 that was nice to have that in the bundle um, I think that's like 8 quid I don't know 8 or 9 quid Another GTA 5, which is cool. Uh, these, I don't know if these are in bundles, but they were stacked like this, so I'm just going to leave them stacked like that, just in case I have put them in bundles. And then GTA 4. Um, that GTA 5 doesn't have the map or anything, so I'm going to bundle that with the GTA 4, hence why they're like that. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, as I say, that was in a massive, massive bundle of, of games and stuff. It was sort of an eBay snipe, but it was partly a private sale as well. Um, one bundle I got off him, I sniped, and then the other bundle I got on a private sale on text. Um, we swapped numbers, and he said, I've got some more stuff, so if you want to make me an offer on it and all that sort, sort of stuff, um, then I'll text. Basically, he texted me the photos. Um, and then I had a look through and picked out bits I wanted and stuff. Um, but yeah, he could be um, a good contact for in the future, um, especially if I want to get into media more, because he does a lot. The, the, this guy I'm talking about is, um, he runs like, a, you know like Cash Generator, he runs like um, a few of those, but not Cash Generator, like his own store. So it's called like Cash something, I don't know. But um it's like a cash generator like store, you know, similar to cash generator. Um, so all the stock that like doesn't shift or doesn't go out the door very quickly or whatever, he just like has loads of it and stuff. So he sells some of it on eBay and stuff. And he said he'll he'll drop me a text um, if he gets anything like interesting and stuff, like with the games, things like that. Um, I said to him, I look for loads of different things. I said, I'll I'll buy some sealed media off you. I'll buy, you know, various bits and bobs. So that was quite a nice contact. Um, I'm building up quite a nice repertoire of of contacts now between charity shops, and uh, I have a few people um, who regularly put things on eBay, like saved sellers and stuff like that, um, who I buy off quite regularly and stuff like that. So it's quite cool. Um, starting to build up a bit more of a, a contacts list which is always nice so anyway I'll leave it there guys uh, so I've not got I've not put my mic back on oh, well. it'll be alright I'm sure the quality isn't lacking too much anyway I am quite close to the phone um, so yeah see you soon guys hope you enjoyed that large haul um, yeah it is rather, it's been a rather long one but anyway I will see you very very soon I won't take up any more of your time see you soon guys